All right, so we're back again. I haven't been feeling so hot the past couple of days, so this may be coming a little late to some of y'all. It's just, I've been so dehydrated because I've been living off of diet soda and energy drinks, which at my age, I'm old at this point, so I should know better, you know, on how to take care of my body, but I don't. So today we've got a delicious nameless water soluble drink and a nice little um, nameless <laughs> little cooler. So, all right. Hopefully this will this will keep me going. Other than you know, you then uh, oops, then false energy because <laughs> that's essentially what I've been doing. Okay, so that was locked. Yeah, it's been a couple of days since I played this. Probably should have reviewed. The world makes sense through the lens of a bottle. In here, I'm not me. Clarity is insanity. And of course, a bunch of the little patch, patch marks. like around a corner me who are you shit there she is hi oh shit i i i get under the cover oh shit oh she freaks me the fuck out bitch go away bye felicia Right then. That's what I thought. Shit. Oh my god. She's doing this weird crawling thing. Oh god, she freaks me out so bad. Oh. Bitch, go away. Go away, Huffa. Maybe I shouldn't be playing this when I'm not feeling good. Like, the anxiety is, is killing me. Like, legit. Okay, so I can't remember if that's where I, that's where I came from. Okay. So, taint no place to hide in her. What's this? <gasps> oh shit, I know what to do. Shit! <laughs> oh, she got him. She got me. She got me. She got me. <laughs> okay, alright. So she's eating my heart. I, I think I'm supposed to like trap her in there and like, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to zap her or something. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know about this, guys. Legit, I don't know. I might have to break this up. It just depends. I don't know if I'm ready for this right now. Not today. <laughs> like, legit. Like, I almost want this game to just fucking end. <laughs> like, at this point. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Yeah! <laughs> That's right. How many times am I supposed to do it? Is she 
going to come back. Come on, bitch. Come on. She's waiting for me. She's waiting for me somewhere. Okay. Come on, heifer. Let's go. Come on, bitch. <laughs> I'm getting a, a little high and high and mighty here when uh when I have a weapon. Friend, you coming? Oh my god. <sighs> my heart is racing so hard right now, like y'all have no fucking idea. She's coming. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. Of course she isn't. Maybe 
Maybe that killed her? I don't know. <laughs> okay. 12th of April, 1996. I hadn't spoken to him in what seemed like an eternity. So I was shocked when he asked me to come back to the cabin. I assumed he wanted to fix a marriage. Maybe try to move past everything and start over. Last time we were at the cabin, it was so romantic until the freak show started. And I vowed never to go back, but if we help our marriage, I'll try anything to win this nightmare. Once we got there, he just started babbling about this being the place of conception and rummaging through that fucked up basement. I don't know if I should be indulging him or getting help. I want him to get help, but I'm scared of how he react. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm supposed to take a picture or something. Maybe that. <gasps> oh shit, she in a picture. Take a photo, it'll last longer. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to look at her in this fucking picture! Okay, so... She is absolutely waiting for me, and that's fine. Come on, bitch! <laughs> oh my god! Fuck you! <laughs> oh shit. Okay. <sighs> All right. Am I gonna? I'm probably gonna wake up back in the cafeteria. Look for a way to contain them. Well, I did, but like. All right. Back in the cafe fucking cafeteria. All right, so. Ooh. Okay. Through the switch, bright light. She can't stand it. Well, I got that much, but like, how am I supposed to make it all the way to back over there? used to the name, but it's starting to grow on me. Perfect. And he looks just like you. What in the actual shit? What kind of god killed the innocent baby?
the hell? That's fucked up. Okay, yeah, so we stabbed her. We got that. And I, A, I hate it when it does that shit. <laughs> Fuck it, A. Okay. okay, so I guess we're back in the house. Ugh, that last jump scare, I feel like I'm gonna barf. Ugh. That's not creepy at all. No, 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 I kind of want the lights on, but whatever. Oh, turn the front porch light on, because that makes a fucking difference. <sighs> Gotta go upstairs. Don't wanna. No. Fuck me. Shit. Oh, Oh god, okay, um... Well, that didn't work. Okay, 10. Maybe that's like her Nana. Oh, shit. I wanted to take a picture of her, but obviously that wasn't. So we found the object of sentimental value. Some need to feel their alive flashing before their eyes. Every action you take will bring you closer to your judgment. Gary's gone totally insane. Maggie ran away. <laughs> she hates me for not standing up to him. She but right. now I'm all alone. And I wish my little girl would come home. Yeah. And I can't just leave him like this. I can't just leave him like this. <laughs> up to something new. Crime scene. 
Burn the items. Okay. Oh, gosh. Computers for idiots! Okay. So, we need to go downstairs. Should I? Let's just straight up go downstairs. And the lights don't work. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, okay, so if the fireplace doesn't work, how am I supposed to burn the atoms? What are you? June 6, 1999. I'm in hell, and he's on his way there. I'm so weak, I can't even look at my own face in the mirror. The last time I did, I saw a twisted husk smiling back at me. I feel like his madness is rubbing off on me. I'm so afraid of him that I slept under the bed last night. This needs to end, one way or another. Going to get us both some help tomorrow. I need to sort my life out and find Maggie. I haven't seen her in three years. I just hope it's not too late. Should have done this 13 years ago when it mattered most. I've done so much wrong. I lost my faith when Michael died, but it's time to repent for all my sins. At least in the end, I can be with my baby boy again. Okay then. All right, where's the lights? Lights, lights, lights. Okay, so none of the lights are working. Right. A search grid has begun over the crash site, but no survivors have been. So here he stands. At the gate. Does he understand the extent of his crimes against his eternal soul? He can't set things right. It's over. He can ensure eternity is fitting for those he affected. I'm looking out here myself. Well, it's time to end it. Move on to the best part. That concludes our broadcast today. Okay. <sighs> Bitch is around here somewhere. I can hide. Okay. Oh shit! Exercise. Ooh. 
So that happened. <laughs> Earn the items. Of course. I fucked it up. Okay. Alright. So. What the shit, yo? Don't get it. Alright. Where did I fuck up? <laughs> Alright, there's the bathroom. So maybe I'm supposed to do something upstairs. <sighs> maybe there's something I'm supposed to get. in here again. Another bathroom, which is disgusting. Okay. Wait, so why do the lights work in here now? Okay. Odd. But okay. Aha! Nope, I'm gonna shut the door. Ugh. Okay, so there's gotta be like a lighter or something. Used. She's hanging out fucking somewhere. <coughs> oh shit! Fuck. Okay, 
there's probably something that I should be doing as her. But I don't know. Yeah, like... Okay. I'm gonna take a break <laughs> and try and figure this out. So yeah. One eternity later. Okay, so uh back. I looked it up. Apparently this is like a real mind fuck. So I just have to look for candles. Or something or like a lighter or whatever. Um, so okay. Search grid has begun over the crash site, but no survivors have been. She's nearby, I think. don't like any of this shit. Fuck, that's weird. Oh, this is such a mind fuck. Something, maybe? Oh, bitch, no. Light. You'd best light. 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 God damn it. Sorry, y'all. We all religious folks out there. Aha! A candle. Nope. Bitch, you can't have me. Burn that shit. 
Okay. All right. Objective complete. Burn the items. All right. <sighs> okay. I'm a try. Gotta do all that over again. Ugh. Fuck. Nope, nope, nope. Ah, damn it. Am I gonna have to burn the items again? Please tell me no. Rick. Damn it. <laughs> I gotta do this shit all over again. Aha! All right. Let's do this. Okay. All right. So we've burned the items. Back upstairs. I'm trying. That's what I'm trying to do. Go, 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 go. Okay. All right. All right. Spread the ashes. Okay. Okay, leave this place. New objective. All right. Okay. All right. The lights work. Exploring. Just in case she ain't gone. 
<laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mine's so hard. Welcome back to Cooking with Massimo. It feels like an eternity, but here we are. We're almost there, but this will be the last episode you see of my show. 25, 15, 21, 4, 9, 4, 20, 8, 9, 19. That's the simple part. What follows? Oh, what delights I have to show you. Slice into nicer, thinner slips. This is a real treat. Sorry to be the one to tell you this, kid, but karma is a bitch. <laughs> and what follows is your torrent. And now for the side dish. This really represents something you had and threw away. And here we are, a meal fit only for you. That's it from me to you, coming live and uncut from hell. This is Massimo signing off. I'll see you real soon. Because, you know, that's not creepy. <laughs> Alright, Massimo. Okay. Okay. Okay, it looks... Kind of normal. Listen up. We've got some news hot off the presses. This station has received reports that the two lighthouse keepers from Oxford Point Island Lighthouse have vanished. The lighthouse keepers work in three-month shifts. On the shift change, two more lighthouse keepers headed out to the small island to relieve them. Upon their arrival, they could not find the men anywhere. It looks like they were halfway through dinner when something interrupted them. There were no signs of a struggle, and all their belongings were still there, including a journal kept by one of them. The journal states several times that the island was talking to them. The most common theory is that the men have suffered from cabin fever and were perhaps accidentally washed out to sea. Other cases like this have been reported on in the past, but have never been fully resolved. A full investigation has begun into this bizarre case. We'll update you as the story progresses. Okay. <sighs> Go the way we came, I guess. Into the garage. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge. And no car. Great. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Nope, I knew this shit wasn't over. <laughs> Just like you. He's got your eyes. Ooh, it's moving! Oh my god, tell me this baby. Gonna jump out from somewhere. I feel like his madness is really on. What's with the mouse? Oh shit, okay. This is like the developers and writers and stuff. That's cool. Ew. I don't know if this is where I came from or not. Like that. You finally arrived. 
I overestimated your comprehension skills. No matter, you finally get it. If you take your place, someone will be with you and we can begin. Ooh. Ooh, oh, okay, they opened. Alright. I don't know if I want to go in here. It doesn't look like it's got a floor. Whatever. YOLO! Shit. Okay. Okay. Who the fuck? Ugh. Aw, oh, dude, he's got like a dead baby. That's fucked up. That's it? Okay. I, I guess, um... It's, uh... I mean, obviously it's a story of, you know, a family who loses their baby and the, you know, wife resorts to taking pills and the husband resorts to drinking and there's some satanic shit in there. I'm assuming it was the husband that did it. Excuse me. Because, you know, he was the one that murdered her. I don't know where the daughter is if, you know, you know, the, the 16 year old girl who runs off with her boyfriend, I don't know if she just flat out disappeared or not. Um, I mean, I get that he's obviously in hell now, like, you know, he ended up in hell. Very creepy ass fucking game, I will definitely definitely recommend this uh, if, you're, if you're looking for, you know, some, some decent, you know, skin-crawling creepiness. Uh, I just have a lot of unanswered questions. Um, maybe there's some DLC or something that I'm missing, or... I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like, kind of like half-acidly reading the credits. Um, so it, I think it was very well executed. Uh, I mean, you get, you know, I probably need a little bit more of the story, you know, kind of like get all of like the notebooks and the memories and stuff. I was just more like, you know, I just want to get to the next, the next step, the next objective, that kind of thing before she gets me. Uh, I mean, for, a, you know, a, I, I mean, I guess it's considered a walking sim, uh, you know, like a, like a PT, Oh, it seems almost like a love letter to PT. I mean, yeah, there were a lot of, um, they, they took, you know, they cherry picked a lot of elements from PT, uh, you know, especially like Lisa, like, you know, the, the antagonist ghost. I mean, they look almost exactly the same. Um, you know, obviously some minor differences here and there, but, um, uh, I think that that it, it it's it's really good. Um, it looks amazing. It plays amazing. Um, the you know, obviously the the scheme is is pretty simple. Uh, you know, it doesn't look like you have to utilize hiding half as much as the trailer would make you believe. Um, but it was a good experience. Um, I enjoyed it. I really did. Uh, I haven't really been like like freaked out, freaked out that bad in a while. Time. Zombies don't really scare me a whole lot, um, you know, because you can shoot them with guns, you know? I mean, yeah, it sucks to get caught in the corner and, you know, you've got zombies all around you and all you can do is just kind of like spray and pray, but, you know, with this, I didn't have a weapon. All I could do was hide, <laughs> so, and just pray that I got to the next objective before she got to me. Um, so, I mean, I, I really kind of enjoyed that kind of, uh, that, that intensity, that, that anxiety, uh, you know, I haven't felt that in with, you know, with a game in a long time, so I really, really enjoyed it, um, 
Uh, but like I said before, I, I do have some unanswered questions. Um, you know, I guess the ending is kind of open to interpretation. The way I in interpret it is, you know, I obviously this guy is is dead. He's in hell. Um, but you know, is he actually like alive when he's banishing? You know, his wife's spirit, or you know, was he? brought back from the dead for that specific purpose or um, you know it or you know is is that how it's playing I don't understand that you know but like I said I, there might be some more like notes or memories or whatever that I'm missing that answers that that will answer those questions uh, I mean obviously she you know was I guess banished or you know sent into the light or you know think something along those lines uh, you know, found her peace, and he obviously ends up in hell in the end, so he gets his just desserts for murdering her for whatever fucking reason. Um, so, hopefully, um, you know, if you know if there is DLC, or, you know, if I play through it again, and I, and I get more memories, and I get more answers, I'll, you know, probably post a follow-up video. Uh, but, yeah, that's Infliction for you, I guess. I uh, wonder if there's anything after the credits. Is there? Or is it just really creepy shit? Okay, we'll see. Doesn't look like there's anything after the credits, guys. So, uh, that's it, I guess. I hope that you enjoyed it. And like I said, if I find some more answers to the questions that I have, um, you know, uh, I will post a follow-up video. Or if you have questions, you know, that, that maybe I didn't bring up, you know, uh, you know, or an interpretation of your own, just let me know. Let me know in the comment section. Um, and, ooh, bonus. What's bonus? Ooh. Ooh, do we get more? Let's, oh. Awesome. Bonus. Okay. Exit only. Okay. All right. So let's enter. Let's see. All right. Okay. So it's like an art gallery. Okay. All right. Sarah Pout lived a life marred by tragedy. What if the tragedy never happened? These are works of an alternate timeline. For we are in the place where lessons are learnt. For this lesson, a glimpse of a happy life, one of longevity, love, and inspiration. This is what was stolen. Sally. Granny. Still alive. Okay. Okay. soul. Okay. Fertility. Sarah was overcome with a depression, something she could not put her finger on. She carried him, felt him inside, but nothing could shake this feeling. A black cloud over him reside. Okay. Okay. Maybe that was a memory I didn't get. Okay. Dusk. The grieving mother. Uh, many would say there is no greater pain than the loss of a child. To be wrongfully accused of causing this tragedy would surely prove the greatest pain of all. Okay, yeah. I could, I could agree with that. Never felt it, but I could agree with that. All right, so. Inner demons. We all have our crosses to bear, some worse than others. Addiction gives birth to monsters. Demons manifest within ourselves. We are truly the monsters, and this is hell. Okay. I mean, I got that. These are some pretty paintings. Some of them, yeah. Syrup. Cold damp from balloon. Okay. Uh, opiate haze in the looping hallway in a maze of dreams 
and something comes a riddle with numbers hidden find the something carved in plaster this is key to avoid disaster the riddle was written on the back of each of these pieces we know Sarah had succumbed to addiction at this stage in her life and it shows in these haunting works Sarah shares her opinions on her family loved ones and herself <clears throat> dark path. This is the place between places. Here there can be only sadness and resolution. This is where the lost are found and vengeance rears its ugly head. Vengeful souls are born of violent death. That stuff is hard to read. <laughs> Hellbound. These works are unsigned. After analysis, we are able, unable to determine the medium, date, or artist. These were found in the Pout household and sent with the rest of Sarah's work to the beneficiary. They remain part of this collection. Their unknown origin makes them truly unique. Oh yeah, these are, these are like the, the really weird ones. Okay. Okay, so that's behind the scenes extras. Okay, the end. You can see here the last piece Sarah was working on. She didn't get the chance to sign, name, or finish it. Another self-portrait. It's the most popular and famous of all her work. The word world is tragically robbed of Sarah and her amazing talents on the 6th of June, 1999. The beneficiary of this amazing collection was kind enough to loan it so we can raise money for charity. Thank you for your patronage and donations. Well, boo. And I don't have the camera, so. Okay. All right. Extras. All right. Promotional art. Please hold your just to great assets. Okay. Crave resides in hell. Grieve. Oh, cool. Okay. Sarah's ghost. Yeah. See, like. Ugh, that just that old Jacob's ladder shit freaks me out. Abaddon and Michael. Okay, so that is absolutely her baby. That's yeah, demon placeholder. Okay, concierge placeholder. Okay, deleted sequence one. Okay, cool. We got like deleted scenes and shit. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's do this. She's like huge. 
envelop the entire hallway and crawl after the player, forcing them to move forward. All that remains of the sequence is the test footage. Okay. Alright. Let's do three. been nifty. Player would enter the turret grade. <gasps> it's never completed. Oh, okay. Well, that sucks. All right. Sequence four. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, original ending? differ from the ending we got. This was the end sequence. Uh, three demons. We're out of time. Couldn't make the third demon, so I put the dark version. nifty seeing this stuff like I mean y'all probably stopped watching by now but whatever <laughs> I'll I'll include it whatever Ferris wheel back there. Like, y'all legit see that shit, right? Like, I feel like I should be paying attention to, like, the outside. Like, 
Maybe I can get through that staff only door. Okay, that's, wow, that's kind of cool. I want behind that fucking door. Like, there's something behind there. Like, I can see... Like, there's something... Be right back. I'm going to see if there's a way behind that door. Okay, so unfortunately I couldn't figure anything. There's nothing that I can find on uh, the internet for the staff only door. Uh, if you happen to know, please let me know down in the comments below. Uh, shoot me an email. Uh, for now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call it. Um, like I said before, I, I thought that this was a pretty awesome game. Um, so uh, on to the next, upwards and onwards. So hopefully I will see you guys soon with another video. And uh, stay safe, stay sanitized, and most of all, stay sane. Love you. Bye. Since you made it to the end of the video, I'm going to assume that you enjoyed yourself. If so, hit that like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all of my latest adventures. Also, feel free to comment below with suggestions on new content. Until next time, stay spooky.